lines P and Q are intersecting at minus 2 comma 3. Okay, so somewhere here is where the lines P and Q are intersecting. Is the slope of line P greater than the, that of line Q? Okay, X intercept of P is greater than that of Q. So let's see. This is one line and if it falls more sharply, something like this. So you see X intercept of P. So this becomes line P and this becomes line Q. They are intersecting at minus 2 comma 3. Is the slope of line P greater than that of line Q? So yeah, P is falling less sharply and therefore uh, we can say that the slope of uh, P is greater than that of Q. Both are negative but P is a less negative slope. So we have got yes using this example and now let's take another example. Now imagine if the line Q were something like this. This is my line Q. So see although it's uh, X intercept is lesser than the line P, it has a positive slope, right? A positive slope will of course be greater than a negative slope. So in this case, we have got the answer no. Okay. So if uh, these were the case cases, this case we got yes as the answer. In this case, Q dash, we got no as the answer. Yes and no both are possible. Statement one is not sufficient. Look at statement two alone. Let's draw it fresh. This is a point minus 2 comma 3. Y intercept is lesser than that of Q. So let's draw two lines. This is one. This is another. So Y intercept of P is lesser. So this has a lesser slope. So this should be P and therefore this is Q. So in this case we have no as an answer because CQ is rising more sharply. So we have no as an answer. Let's try it on the other side. A falling line. Let's try falling. Let's try a falling pair also. In a falling pair, the line which has a lower intercept, y intercept of p is lesser. So this must be p, p dash, and in this case q dash. So in this case also, see the line p is falling more sharply. So even for a fall, falling line, uh, you see that uh, the intercept of p is lower. For that to be true, the slope should also be lower. So we are definitely getting no as an answer. In this case, we could not get a yes as an answer using statement 2. So uh, therefore, this statement is sufficient. 1 is not sufficient. 2 is sufficient. Together it worked. Once again, this is important. That see for this pair, you had um, P having a greater slope. But in this case, this pair, pair of Q dash and P. Okay. Just for conceptual clarity, let me draw another um, line you know, call it Q dash and call this P dash. See for a rising line, Q has uh, a greater slope, although it has a lesser X intercept. So it is satisfying the condition that X intercept is greater than, uh, greater for P than for Y. So this condition is being satisfied. See this X intercept is lower, the X intercept here is higher. But in this case, uh, the slope is more here, rising line, falling line in this case. Uh, this was a lesser neg less negative slope. So in this case we got yes, in this case we got no. Both the conditions are possible. In the second case we are not able to get a yes. For a rising line, P has to be less rising or if it is falling it will have an even lower slope. And for falling cases also, for Y-intercept to have a lower slope, it has to fall more. So the answer is option B.